بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقطة دم اللسان يفقه قولي a state level military massacre on a civilian population demands a state level military intervention to rescue the people of Gaza, to liberate Palestine and Al Masjid Al Aqsa. So, my message today is to those sincere sons in the Muslim armies, the official armies in the Muslim world. It is not to any individual. It is not to any militia. It is only to those who have the capability and who have the responsibility to liberate Palestine and rescue the people of Gaza to liberate Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and liberation brothers and sisters liberation it does not mean more and more and more bloodshed liberation means after a hundred years of bloodshed oppression and chaos a chance to remove those oppressive systems in place over the people. Liberation means to replace those systems with a system that once saw Muslim, Christian and Jewish people living side by side in the Holy Land. That is what liberation means. So my message to our brothers in the armies around the world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, When it stands rukum fiddin, fa'alaykumun nasr. And if they seek your help in the deen, then you must help them. Allahu Akbar. They have asked for your help. They say the rulers in the Arab and Muslim world are dead. They say those rulers are dead and there is no point in calling on dead people for help. But you have life in your hearts. You are from the Ummah of Muhammad the people of Gaza have asked you for help. The children of Gaza have asked you for help. They've asked you whom Allah has given capability. And who are they? They are al min al rijali wal nisai wal wildan. The oppressed men, women and children. al yaquluna. Those that they said, Rabbana. Take us out, rescue us from this land, this place where its people are oppressors. And our oh Allah and our Rabb, appoint from yourself, O oh Allah, a protector and a helper. What an honor! for you, O oh armies in the Muslim world, O oh armies in Egypt, in Turkey, in Pakistan, in Jordan, in Indonesia. What an honor if you were the one who Allah selected from himself to be a protector and a helper of those men, women, and children. When it stands rukum fiddin, fa'alaykum un nasr. And if they seek help for you, from you for their deen, then you must help them. Takbir. Ya Jiyushul Muslimin. 
حرروا فلسطين Let them hear you in Cairo يا جيوش المسلمين حرروا فلسطين And what are they asking you to do? They're not asking you to bomb refugee camps. They're not asking you to bomb hospitals. They're not asking you to kill civilians. They're not asking you to kill women and children. They're not asking you to be murderers and genocidal. No. That is never, never the aim of an army from the Muslims that wants to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet They are asking you to be brave, to be honorable, to rescue them, to be uncles to their children, to be brothers to your sisters, to be sons to your mothers and fathers there, to return what was stolen from them and to restore their rights. Allah has blessed you with a capability. O oh, army in Egypt, you are said to be one of the most powerful militaries in the world. The most powerful of the Arab armies. More than a thousand military aircraft, more than 300,000 troops. Actually on paper, more powerful than the Zionist occupiers of Palestine. More powerful than those who target women, children, hospitals and refugee camps. But are you more brave than them? Or do you fear Sisi and the likes of them? The man who just this week, he said he was willing to give 85% of historic Palestine away forever and let the Palestinian people live in 15% demilitarized he said no military right to defend themselves he said in this week seven weeks after the most brutal military onslaught most of us have ever seen in front of our eyes Demilitarized, he said, giving their defense over to NATO or the UN, who have backed their occupiers and oppressors for decades. Will you listen to the likes of Sisi? No! I ask you, not here, you behind me, you who can hear me through the web, you who these words I pray to Allah, the message will hear you. Will you listen to the likes of Abdul Fattah Sisi or to Al Fattah or to Allah or to the cries of the Muslim of the Mustadafin? Or will you follow the Quran of Allah who said, When he stands fiddeen, fa'alaykumun nasr. And if they seek help from you in their deen, then you must help them. Takbir. Because as I said before, a state level military massacre on a civilian population, it needs a state level military intervention to rescue the people of Gaza, liberate Palestine and Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa and liberation of armies in the Muslim world. Liberation is an honor for you because you would replace what is there now, that misery, that injustice, for decades, you would replace that theft. You would return that land to a system that allowed Muslim, Jew and Christian to live side by side in peace and respect with everyone having rights for centuries. That's what liberation would mean. I said what capability Allah has blessed you with in terms of military capability, material capability. But we know that is not real capability. Real ability is having the help of Allah. Allahu Akbar. The help of Allah and Nasir, who 
helped his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the odds were 300 in Badr to 1000 of the Quraysh Allah helped them with angels Allah who helped the Khilaf of Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu an against the might of the Roman Empire to liberate Palestine and when he did the Christian ruler Sophronius gave him the keys of the city of Al-Quds and Umar radiallahu an he set a precedent to respect the rights of the Christians and Umar radiallahu an allowed the Jewish people to return to Al-Quds to Jerusalem who had been expelled by the Romans before them for the first time in years Allah is the one who helps who helped Salahuddin he will help the sincere ones from the Muslims who have the capability who have the sincerity so I say again the ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when it stands and if they seek help from you in their deen then you must help takbir takbir so what an honor i say to you again if you took that call what an honor to help the mustadafin the oppressed from the men the women and the children what an honor to be the one who allah picked out to help them and rescue them to liberate the land to establish a system of justice there after a century of injustice what an honor it would be and you would be responding for the call of allah and you would trust in allah husband allah wa ni'mal wakil ni'man nawna mawla wa ni'man nasir husband allah wa ni'mal wakil ni'man mawla wa ni'man nasir ya juyushul muslimin let them hear you in Cairo. Ya Juyushul Muslimin. Ya Juyushul Muslimin. Ya Juyushul Muslimin. Harriru Filastin. Wa in istan surukum fitin. Faalaikum un nasr. And if they seek help from you in their deen, then you must help that beer. Ya Juyus al Muslimin, Billahi alaykum, Tadakkaru kawl Allahi azza wa jal. Inna ma waliyukum Allahu wa rasooluh. Wal ladina amanu, al ladina yuqimun al salah. ويؤتون الزكاة وهم راكعون ومن يتولى الله ورسوله والذين آمنوا فإن حزب الله هم الغالبون فإن حزب الله هم الغالبون